Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Calvert-Lewin card to review today. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and give him the engine chemistry style right away because he is a pretty tall player from what I uh, remember. So he's six foot two guys with a unique body type. So the unique body type could actually be very, very helpful for this card. Uh, so six foot two, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So it's whether or not he's a usable physical type striker, which he actually could be uh, because he even has the high medium work rate to work with as well. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the power header traits, which can be helpful in certain situations, but heading is not necessarily like a huge thing in FIFA nowadays. Uh, but he is pretty tall to be able to win it with 99 jumping, with 99 heading accuracy. So it could be okay, to be fair. Base card stats for pace is at an 88-93. We're going to be boosting that up to a 93-98, which is pretty decent for a striker. Shooting for base card stats inside the 18-yard box should be decent. Outside, not so much with the 81 long shots. They could be more inconsistent, but... Most of the shots you will be taking will be inside the 18 anyways. Uh, base card stats for passing is okay, uh, but when we give him the engine, we do improve it quite a bit. Dribbling for this card is going to be good for the balance, agility, and dribbling because of the engine chemistry style. But we do have to test it out for base card stats, right? Because sometimes that plays more of effect, but he does have that unique body type. So that's a huge, huge thing that we will be looking at with the engine chemistry style. Uh, and then last but not least, he has very good physical stats too. 91 for strength with 86 for aggression. So with Calvert-Lewin, guys, we are going to be using him in the 4-1-2-1-2. I think in his case, because his passing is not that crazy and his stat at an 88 is nice. So you could put him on the comeback in the fence. It wouldn't necessarily be a problem, right? But I want to test him out on the getting behind which is the defensive for this formation, yeah. So we're going to have him on the get and behind tactic for the striker area with these for tactics. So yeah, we'll try him out, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, I tried to get the second shot canceled. Didn't register there. The first one didn't come off that bad. You know what's funny is that like I just kind of figured you know what I'm gonna lob pass to him because he actually might be able to win this ball in the air from the headers because that's a very like unnatural way of scoring a goal but because he has those stats I was like I'm gonna try this out to see what happens Oh, I think he might have saved that though. I didn't know I didn't put enough power on that. Okay, since he's crazy at heading, I need to do like this and then just get him on the transition like this. Okay. <laughs> uh hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Heading is not that crazy, but because he's so tall and he has crazy heading stats, it actually might be super relevant for him. Uh, animations are slower because of the physical type. So I have to get used to that a little bit. Did I hit the crossbar there? Oh, I think I did. No. Yeah, so I do feel like you have to give him the engine to kind of work with that unique body type and stuff, guys. But his dribbling is actually pretty nice. I'm enjoying it. Again, they just got they should just do a unique body type for all the physical type strikers. It makes them way better. For the most part. Oh, I didn't get that one though. Hmm. Okay. They didn't time it though, boys. You gotta time those bad boys. Under pressure as well. Yeah, see, I gotta... I'll adjust to the timing. It's still a white, so it's still like a regular strike. I think he's gonna score that. Yeah. See, if you get yourself into areas like that, guys, he is kind of nuts, man. I'm not gonna lie. 
You know what? If that's going to be your play style with a card, giving him a dribbling boost might not even be the most relevant thing. I think it's just giving him a shooting boost just to get into the areas quickly, I think it might be or might be super relevant, actually. Yeah, you know I gotta try that. Come on, hey. Hey. You know I gotta do it. This guy has really good aerial presence. Like, I, I, this is not a meta thing to do in the game, guys. But because his stats are so high... Look, I'm gonna try to get that. Oh. Ooh, good L-trigger shield dribble. That was good. Near post strike. Okay. Oh, I was behind him that time. You have to catch them on the transition. If you catch them on the transition going into the header, that's where they do really well. Don't worry, guys. These are the penalties, bro. <laughs> He's so good in the air. Ooh, hit him on that first time volley. Yo, this card is kind of like... He's, he's fun to use. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Listen, man. This card's like... He's really fun to use. I, he's one squad. Nah, I got to see this after, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. He's not like a crazy meta player. But I love cards that offer a different, like, variable. You know, like, hey, I'm really good in the air. That's not really like a thing in this game. But I'm like really good at it. With four-star, four-star capabilities. The best attacking AI for attackers... Right? It's either that or high-low, but like high-medium is usually like a huge go-to. You guys remember that like, like there was a few years back, uh, I can't remember which FIFA, like Miroslav Klose, where he was just an absolute monster in the air? It's kind of like that. Or uh, Mandzukic from like, what was it, FIFA 15 or something, or 14? I think it was 14. I literally want to switch the play like I want to switch because I know he's on that side and I want to get the cross to that side like this and then get the cross off. Oh, no. Bro, do you see what I'm saying? I'm not even timing these shots, eh? Oh, you know, I had to go for the bicey, bro. The way that ball was in the air, no chance. Oh, manual goalkeeping. But we still got it. Yeah, the top. Oh, I might actually get this. <laughs> oh, I really want to try the dink there. It's not meta, though. You should go for the ball roll or whatever, you know. I just want to try it, though. No, I messed that up, man. I don't know if I did. Like, the volley, like, am I aiming it not properly there? I don't know. That was weird. There you go. I had to get used to the timing a little bit. It's, a diff it's different with him, for sure. Let me just try a random cross here. Oh, he tries to get ahead, though, eh? It's better to move them, though. Yeah, guys, uh, this card is uh, is crazy in the air, man. He's crazy. If you see him get into those positions, literally just cross the ball to him, man. This is, like, not a way to play. Like, trust me, like, with dribbling, his dribbling is actually really nice. His shooting is not, like, crazy special because you have an engine on him. But if you don't want to dribble too much with him, but you want to just go for those headers and stuff, like, just giving him the pace to get into those areas quick enough could be super, super ideal. Oh, that was a volley. But he's on the far post right there. Okay, so this switch, I'd put it like right about here with that much power. And then I have to catch him on the transition like this. And then I hit it. I got blocked there, but you know what I'm saying? You see? You got to catch him on the transition, man. Oh, EA, literally, like, just give 
your physical striker's unique body type. Like, I can actually move with them. No! Get it! Oh. On the volley. On the volley. No! Oh, I'm gonna get this. Oh, but it's the goalie, though. He's got his hands. Nice, good shot cancel. No timing on that strike either. Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Calvert-Lewin SBC. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this card offers some very cool variables to this game because he's very different to how strikers can play in this game because of the fact that his aerial presence is actually so insane. The way that this guy heads the ball because of 99 heading accuracy, 99 jumping, six foot two height, unique body type with the power header trait. Like, dude, in the beginning, I was like, yeah, you know, like, guys, this is not really like the meta in this game, right? But, uh, you know, when we do player reviews, we got to test out these things, right? So I'm crossing the ball to this guy. I'm seeing where he's positioned. I'm like, yo, he's a monster in the air. Like, he, his aerial presence is insane. But here's the thing, guys. Like, I was scoring volleys with him i was scoring good shots with him like don't get me wrong there's going to be moments where having higher shooting stats is going to be great right but if you are inside the 18 yard box guys which is where most of your opportunities are going to be coming from you're not going to want to take strikes outside the 18 with this guy that often anyways because of him being tall with base card stats of 81 for long shots however i'm saying this right i'm saying this but you could give him a hawk chemistry style if you don't want to improve the dribbling, because that's what your play style is going to be. Your play style is going to be getting him in the right position at the right time, and then being able to cross the ball to him, being able to get that one opportunity to him to shoot the ball. Because guys, here's the thing, right? When you have the unique body type, no matter what, obviously if he's six foot two, you will notice the 87 agility, 84 bounce, 86 dribbling, but it is usually significantly better than players who have that body type who are high in average or have an average, right? So that's more manageable because of the fact that he has the unique body type. So if you want to do that play style, you could totally do that. Give him that extra physical so that when you actually win the ball in the air, he's going to be a physical monster, okay? You just kind of eliminate a little bit of a game style when it comes to dribbling more responsibly, right? Because here's the thing, guys. His shooting isn't terrible on the engine chemistry style, and you're giving him a dribbling boost that I feel like he requires because of the fact that he's a six foot two player. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I like this SBC, not because he's like a crazy card in the meta of the game, but because he's a card that adds a different variable to a game style. Like the cards like this do not exist. Like this is literally like um, Miroslav Klosa from back in the day, uh, literally like a, uh, uh, Manzukic from like FIFA 14, you know, like a player that's just very, very good in the air. But it's not because it's an overpowered mechanic in the game, it's because he himself is good at it. You know what I'm saying, guys? I like this. I like when it's not overpowered, but the card itself, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna sacrifice a tiny bit of shooting, a tiny bit of the dribbling for the meta, but he's crazy in the air. So it adds a really sick variable, you know? But like I said, guys, the shooting was great. You know, I hit the volleys, hit the regular strikes, and it was coming off fantastic. Why? Because guys, they gotta do this for all of the cards in this game. Like whatever you guys, whatever artists you guys are doing, whatever you gotta do, unique body type EA, you know? Like this high and average, average for attackers, get rid of it. Because it makes these cards so sick. And when you format the card a certain way, and I can give him an engine, and he's formatted like this, where, you know, most of my strikes will be inside the 18-yard box anyways, sick, you know? I like cards like this, man. I like cards that make me play different, you know? You don't get that often this year. So, guys, I like the SBC. I'm going to be honest. I think he's pretty sick for what it is, bro. You know? It adds a different variable to your gameplay. Decent on the floor. Really good in the air. It's a sick card, man. I like it. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.